This is a lot harder than we ever thought it would be. I really don't know what to do. Ah, we don't know where to go. We don't know what to do. So I was just opening the blinds and I could see all this Florida flora and fauna outdoors. And I just felt like, wow, I feel like I'm living my dream. It's such a satisfaction knowing that you're just living your dream. It's, I'm not bragging. I mean, it takes work to be able to live your dream, of course. I just, there's times where it hits me that I'm just feeling extra grateful and happy, full of gratitude. We're gonna make a coffee and have a nice chat today with you guys about how we vacation four months out of the year. We work the other eight months. It's pretty simple, but we're gonna go into detail about it. Thank you so much. Lance is right. There is something so special about waking up in the middle of these Florida palm trees and it's crisp and cold. Well, when I say cold, it's probably 50 degrees, which is my kind of cold. You know, Florida cold, how we do. It's just so cozy. I have these curlers in my hair. Let's see how it looks when I take them out today. <laughs> It's that, that first initial tight curl look for me. And then in the next like 30 minutes or so, it kind of gradually loosens. For eight months out of the year, we're working for someone. In addition to that, we also work on our YouTube channel. It's actually number one to us. It's our biggest priority. During the four months that we vacation, YouTube is all that's on our mind. So we do still work, but it's not also working a 40 hour work week in addition. You know, this whole video is supposed to be about how we vacation four months out of the year and how we work four months out of the year. Eight. And how we work eight months out of the year. But that's not really the truth. In my mind, it's such a, a struggle between our YouTube channel, our work camping, and our online presence. I want to be able to work full time, 100% both of us on our internet content. With these full time jobs that we're applying for, because we've done, we've started from the bottom of the work camping world, just as this typical work camper, and each work camping position that we do, we grow our skill set and we realize how talented that we are and how much training that we've had and how much money our time is worth. It's so hard. I can't just accept a minimum wage job just to kind of get by. You know, we genuinely do love work camping, but I, I that's not our dream. Our dream is to be full-time content creators. And you know, our plan for this year was really to dial down, to hone in on our social media craft. And we want to do that. But when we're applying for these jobs, it's just so confusing. I feel so torn and confused. I really don't know what to do. You know why we need a hearty breakfast is because I'm about to interview with a place that I've wanted to work for a while. I've had some really good interviews with some really beautiful places. We just aren't sure. We're super confused this time around. Like we just... Ah, we don't know where to go. We don't know what to do. So we're continuing to interview and talking to different companies, whether they're private or uh, the national park we're going to talk to soon. So we'll keep you all posted. I'm going to forget about all of our thoughts and worries during this breakfast and just enjoy. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. There's so many factors for us to consider, right? So can Winston hang out with us at least for half of the day? We don't want him to be cooped up in the camper all day. Like what's the hourly requirement? What's the pay? What is, honestly, this is most important to me. I can't speak for Amber, but the location. There's also really important other things like internet. We don't have Starlink. So if we don't have AT&T and Verizon, our mobile hotspots won't work. And that's a huge problem. What are the bathroom situations like? Are we gonna be able to take a shower wherever we are? Is it gonna be too windy? 
There's just so many different factors that we don't know until we get there. And the year goes by so quick. So as soon as you say yes to one of these companies, that's where you're gonna be the whole year. Since got his sweater on, we got a chilly Florida day. He loves eggs. Hello, this is Julietta. How are you doing today? Hi, thank you so much for giving me a call. I appreciate this interview. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, now, it's still a good time, it sounds like? Yes, absolutely. Excellent. Um, so, I see that you applied for campground management. Unfortunately, all of those positions are filled. Okay. Um, at this point, I see um, that you had a buddy, we call him Buddy here, um, yeah. listed as Amber Eagle. Yes, ma'am. She's actually and with they, me right now. So, she, we, her and I live in the RV together. It's my partner. Okay, cool. Um, so she had applied for a learning development job and they sent her a request for an interview and she didn't respond to it. I never um, received. Thing, I'm sorry. She's the here with me. With campgrounds, uh -huh. um, is that um, we're looking for couples. So both of you would need to be willing to, yeah. you know, work in the campground. She, oh, the, for the campground attendant job? No. Uh, it, yeah, it could be, um, you don't have to do the same job. It could be okay. attendant, could be front desk, could be camper services. Yeah, she's interested. Maybe she missed that email. I'm so sorry. Is the job that, um, that I applied for, is it still available? Uh, that I don't know. It's kind of a roller coaster because it's like you get kind of your hopes up, you interview, and either we, we've get, gotten the job or it's just like not a good fit. The problem is, is that they charge, so I guess it, it wasn't a lot, so it's not, this is not the number one thing. They charge like $280 a month for the site, right? Mm -hmm. It's true. So you're paying for your own electric. The deal breaker actually in this one was that they don't have showers for us to use at all. And yes, we do have a little shower in our camper, but it's not how we want to live our lives for that long period of time. And I think the thing about it too is like, we would have to go all the way to Yellowstone, which is going to cost us X amount, it's which is going to be a lot. hours. I just Googled it. It's 36 hours to get there. And we definitely want to go to Yellowstone one day, but... I think with, with us, you know, making $15 an hour each, then having to pay, you know, $280 for our site, which don't, I mean, the thing is there's, a, we're not being cheap. It's that there is a lot of places that do not require that at all. And we can use shower facilities. So they don't want the work campers using the shower facilities for whatever reason. And it's as quick as that. We're already applying for a new job that we didn't even know existed. This is the most low key job we've ever heard of. We won't have electricity. We won't have water. We won't have a shower. <laughs> so this job is in a national forest, okay? And they do provide you with a big water tank. So there is water. Mm -hmm. And they will provide us with a stipend for our gas for our generators that we don't have. We don't really have a generator. <laughs> so we do have our solar power bank. And honestly, it sounds like a great adventure. And the district manager that we were speaking to loved her. She was super cool. And the area is amazingly beautiful. So I'm liking it. And I'm being open-minded. She's down to do it. She wants an adventure. I really just don't want to be so committed. I want to get paid for 40 hours a week, but I don't want to be tired at the end of my day. So I, I, I don't want to spread myself too thin. To be honest, that's really the issue that we find is a lot of these work camping jobs, especially when they're through a private place, it takes up our whole entire world. I don't know why, but we just really do not have time to focus on our YouTube channel the way that we really need to and want to, and that's truly our passion. It's already time for meal number two. We're being so healthy, we got a salad. I have some very good quality pasture-raised chicken right here. I'm still researching everything, weighing all of our options, making lists actually in our head, maybe we should write some things down, but I feel like we know what direction we're going in. The thing is we feel that way and we have another interview in an hour and it, our whole our whole mood can change it so wild. Today is definitely a day of work camping, interviews, thinking about it. It's really like obviously taking up my whole thought process and I just was talking to the camp host here 
um, and I was telling her everything and she was just trying to like kind of guide me through some of the stuff. Look at how healthy your girls are. Look at this. I've been eating so many chicken salads lately. Oh yeah, you have. I love them. Mmm. Juicy. Great flavor. You know what I love is a little daytime fire. I really just was ready to sit by a campfire and have smoke get all in my face. I was just ready for it. It's just, it's, it's home. Please don't be afraid of all the things that could go wrong. And we can take our time and we may change our mind. But I can tell a good thing when a good thing comes along. We just had a great interview. We are to the point now, we just had three interviews just today where we already had some job offers on our plate. So right now I'm going to the basics. We're gonna write it down and we're gonna write down the pros and the cons. We're but gonna... first, the people want a beer review. Come on, what are you drinking? <laughs> today, this is a Wicked Weed Brewing variety pack. Mango Wowie, it's a hazy IPA with mango. Mm. You can already smell it before it even goes in your mouth. It's like a wheat ale, so it's not IPA. It has no bitterness to it. It's like a mango creamy sickle. <laughs> it's my think and drink. Ready? We need to get down to business. What? We need to get down to business. We've just been interviewing today. Today's been a bunch of interviews and now our like our minds are just racing and we're weighing all our different options. This is a lot harder than we ever thought it would be. Like usually we interview for in the past for the last two we've interviewed and we've been like, okay, that's it. Right. And we just kind of knew the direction, but feels like a really big decision. I know. And every couple of hours we're finding a new job and having an interview right off the bat. You know, it's always good to send your emails and wait for someone to call, but sometimes you have to be proactive and call that company, ask for the right person to talk to and get the ball rolling. The states that we're looking in are Utah, Colorado, Wisconsin. Montana, and Wisconsin. Look at all the smoke behind me. Drama. Not on next to Drama. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Maybe this is time we sit over here. It smells good, but oof. <laughs> I got too much, man. But I'm gonna try to make it to the table. All the ingredients in one handful. Let's go. Let's cook. Come on. It's time to cook. It's time to cook. We're gonna be making a Dutch oven campfire recipe. Let me show you the ingredients and you tell me if you can guess what we're making tonight. I was wanting something cozy, comforting. In our last recipe, we made grilled cheese and tomato soup over the campfire. That was so good. I'm gonna stick with my soup theme today. This is something I've never made. So many recipes that I make, I have never made before in my whole life. So this is exciting to always try something new. You know, we're always winging it. You gotta start somewhere. If you don't think you're a good cook, just try. And if we settle down, uh, we don't have to settle down. Don't be afraid of all the things that could go wrong And we can take our time And we may change our mind Whoever said cooking over a fire doesn't hurt your eyes They're lying I can't even We're gonna go inside Julieta made the executive decision That since we got some ash in our food That we're gonna go inside Back inside You can do it. Come on. You got this. Okay, we got the butter and the onions all sauteed. The onions are soft. We are going to throw in our garlic. Are you looking forward to this meal, Winston? I think you're going to like it. We'll give you a side of chicken, okay? We have a quarter cup of flour. And then right away, we're going to get our roux started. We'll do a half a cup, a half and half. Okay, and then we'll do... Okay, so we're gonna add some organic chicken broth. We're gonna stir. Probably should have done this gradually. Yeah, that's how you do a roux, but we're doing good, it's fine. 
I'm just gonna go gradually here. Today we are making a Dutch, well, I guess it's still a Dutch oven even though it's not on a campfire. Today we are making a Dutch oven broccoli cheddar soup with sourdough bread. That's what we're making. And when I was growing up, I used to get this at Panera. I don't go to Panera anymore, but when I was younger I did. And I like the broccoli soup. It's broccoli, cheddar, mm, can't go wrong, onion, garlic, and that's what we're making. We're gonna pair it with some sourdough bread. We're gonna add that. It's gonna add the salt that it wants, that it needs. It's gonna add the deliciousness. <laughs> See, it's still campfire Dutch oven soup, okay? Try it. I think you're gonna like it. Yay. <laughs> Look at that creamy, creamy soup. We did it. We did All it. All right. All right. Cheesy. All right, we're dipping the bread. Mm. Yum. Creamy, salty. There's even a little bit of sweetness in there, I guess, from the carrots. Mmm. Everything cooked perfectly evenly together. I left some of the broccoli florets a little bit bigger. Here, I'll bread. Cheers, you. Cheers. Mm. That's how it should be. Mm. Mm. Now it's time for the big question. Which would you choose? Wisconsin, Montana, Colorado, or Utah? Let us know down in the comments. We're still trying to figure it out. Give us your input. All right, last piece of firewood is going on. Now that we're nice and full, we're gonna go to bed. That was a really big day. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna tell you how we find these work camper jobs. We know a lot of you ask, and we definitely wanna tell you. I've been doing Magic Mind every afternoon, and it's been such a huge improvement. I've been skipping the coffee in the afternoons, but you know, there's nothing like my cup of morning coffee. But I love the way that the Magic Mind like gives me a pickup. I usually take it around like noon or one, and <clears throat> huge improvement. Like super good focus. That's when I really like to sit down and kind of dig into some of my like editing projects, creative stuff, and I can absolutely tell the difference. Do you want to go on a walk? Good morning! You see that is sunshine. It's a beautiful freaking day right here. I don't even have on long sleeves. It must have been a beautiful night too because the raccoons were out. We have a bag of garbage that I left outside and I was being silly and left it on the ground. So raccoons, I hope you had a wonderful midnight snack. We slept great, we we're making big decisions. We woke up this morning and I have to make a conscious effort to be like, okay, good morning, Julietta, before I start talking about, thinking about our job options. And as soon as I asked her one question about it, she said, I've been thinking about it all night too. And we're on the same page about things. To get my mind in high gear this morning, I'm gonna start my morning off with Magic Mind, this individual shot. Get my gears turning, it has matcha, ashwagandha, lion's mane, nootropics, all kinds of things that I need to make this decision. If you wanna try Magic Mind 2 in the description for this video, we will have a link and a code for a discount. Cheers. We left our campsite, but we did not leave the park yet. There is a beautiful beach here, and Winston is allowed on it, so we're gonna go on a beach walk. First, we're gonna grab a little bite in the camper. It is so handy having our whole house and whole kitchen just on wheels right now. He smells the beach, look. He smells it. His little nose is up. Leash. Already back in your bed. Come on. 
Let's go. Good oh boy, he's so excited. Look at where we are. You know what that is. Amber's over here making me a granola bowl with some yogurt. Look at my granola bowl. <laughs> so sweet of you. I am. Strawberries are so delicious right now. They must be towards the end of the season. They are so sweet, and you know that they're good when they're red all the way up until the top and there's not that white layer. Mm. No. Look who's so cute. Just sit next to me in the sun. Yes. I know that we asked you all like between those four, but even in the time of this morning, we've gotten another job interview coming up this afternoon. So we probably won't even really tell y'all where we're gonna go until it's getting closer to that time. And you know why? Because we have no idea. Yes, exactly. We really don't have any idea. We just want to share this process with you, what it's like a little bit. I think it's funny because I used to be the kind of person who would never want such an uncertainty in my life. Like, it made me feel very unsettled to, like, not know where I'm going to go for the summer. But I really have this, like, complete faith and confidence in us and in, like, what the future holds that I just, I don't even worry about it anymore. It's kind of a fun adventure, and it gets us really stoked on where we're going to be living for the summer. Let me tell you about some of the reasons why we would or wouldn't want one of these jobs. A lot of these jobs have no electricity. No electricity. Now, you know, you know that we have power banks, and we can charge them with solar panels, but that's still a huge challenge, and there's no water at some of these, um, and the, they'll provide you with, you know, a 200-gallon water tank. It's just harder living. You know, at the last place that we worked, they actually gave us this beautiful oceanfront apartment, <clears throat> so we were living live in large. Those are struggles that we are willing to overcome. We want to live this really interesting, exciting life. And the jobs that are off grid like that are usually about four months. So a much shorter period and we can do it. It's just an extra hurdle. The reason we like those kinds of jobs is because there is less responsibility. You have to p clean up some of the campfires, make sure everyone's doing okay, but there are way less tasks. We naturally gravitate towards taking on more and more roles. And in these off-grid jobs, there really aren't more roles that you can take on. That would give us more time to focus on our YouTube channel. Let's go on a walk. Sounds good. Come on. <laughs> Gotta get my crappy shoes out. There we go. My sexy lady shoes. I can't take another night without you by my side. Please come home as quickly as you can. And if you settle down, we don't have to settle down. Please don't be afraid of all the things that can how do we find these work camping jobs it's super simple we're a part of a few Facebook groups which I'll tell you in just a minute and it's just word of mouth talking to other work campers the main Facebook groups that we use to find these work camping jobs one is called work camping with wages another one is just called work campers a lot of the campgrounds will post the job openings and you can reply to them they'll usually include their email so you can reach out directly what we did is we actually created a cute little resume which we'll show you. We posted that on each of these pages to allow people to contact us also. And that has proved the, the most rewarding for us so far. We will also go the extra mile and call these places and kind of introduce ourselves, get more information about the job because it can be really exciting at first. But then once we start to learn a little bit more about the job and it just starts, finds out that it's not such a good fit, um, or we just want to see what else is out there. That's kind of where we are right now, where we're just at this standstill to kind of hear more about different places before we make our decision. That was a fun. Thank you so much for watching this video. It's really cool to be able to bring you all along on this adventure, this crazy journey, kind of an emotional roller coaster. Just as excited to see where we go next as you are, and we are so grateful that you're here. We love you. I'm so confused about this year. Yeah, why? <laughs> I can't right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Tell me. What? I'm done. Oh. I don't even think I announced what we're having. 
So Julieta, when you hear this, edit in the beginning of the video. Amber is over here making me a granola bar. Amber's over here. Just happiness, gratitude, just wash over your whole body. It feels so good. My mind is so at peace. Me too. Wash over your whole body? Is that how you say that? What? Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done.